Welcome back to the channel. The KDE project has just released KDE Gear 24.05.2 and I'm here to break down everything you need to know about this update. If you're using KDE apps on your Plasma desktop or any other platform, this update is packed with important fixes and improvements to make your experience even better. So let's dive right in. KDE Gear 24.05.2 is a maintenance update which means it's focused on fixing bugs and improving the apps you already use. Here are some of the key highlights. First up, let's talk about the KCAL calculator app. There were a couple of annoying issues. Previously, pressing the backspace key could cause KCAL to crash. That's fixed now so you can use backspace without any worries. There was a problem with input chaining which means leaking multiple operations together. This is now working correctly again. Additionally, KCALC now supports decimal numbers even if you don't enter an integer part first. For example, you can now type dot .5 directly instead of having to type 0 dot .5. Moving on to KDE Partition Manager, there was an issue where clicking the Remove Mount Point button could cause the app to crash. This has been fixed, making the app more stable when managing your disk partitions. Memory leaks are when an app uses more and more memory without releasing it, which can slow down your computer. This update has fixed a memory leak in KDE PIM runtime, meaning your system should run more efficiently now. Now let's talk about some of the specific apps that got updates. For those of you using Icon Adi Calendar, there was an issue with missing change notification when you loaded your calendar for the first time. This has been fixed, so you'll get all the updates you need right away. The Angelfish web browser had a problem with icon changing, which has been resolved. This means the icons in the browser should load faster and more reliably. If you use Eliza to listen to music, you'll be happy to know that you can now scroll through lyrics with your mouse wheel again. This feature has been missing, but is now back. K-Alarm had a bug that caused it to crash if you edited a new alarm while spell checking was enabled. This is now fixed, making it safer to edit your alarms. Caden Life, the popular video editor, got several improvements. Better organization for guide categories, enhanced handling of timeline duration, and improved functionality when working with subtitles. Kate Inerary, which helps manage travel itineraries, got some cool new features. Some of these are Added extractor for Georgian and Turkish railways. Now supports extracting detail for Iberian reservation PDFs. Improved detection patterns for Snell Talk. Added basic extractors for hotels.com email that don't use schema.org data. And new extractor for RegioJet PK Pass bus tickets. Cleopatra has improved how it saves logs. Previously, it used special Unicode characters, which could be problematic. Now, it saves logs as plain text, making them easier to read and use. NeoChat had an issue with the global menu, which has been fixed, making the app more user-friendly. Ocular, the document viewer, had a crash issue when performing certain actions on PDFs. This has been resolved, ensuring a smoother experience. Several other KDE apps received small but significant fixes. Plasma Tube video playback improvements. Spectacle, better screenshot handling. Mercuro, performance enhancements. K-Organizer, improved calendar management. K-Get, download stability improvements. Keysmith, better security key management. File light, improved disk usage visualization. 
Dolphin File Manager Enhancements AudioTube Music Streaming Improvements and ARC Better Archive Management You can get all these awesome updates from the software repository of your favorite Linux distribution. The packages for KDE Gear 24.05.2 should be available, so make sure to update your installation to enjoy all these improvements. That's a wrap on KDE Gear 24.05.2 update. This maintenance release brings a lot of improvements, fixes and enhancements, making your KDE apps more stable and future rich. Whether you're using KCalc, KDN Life, or any of the other updated apps, you'll notice the difference. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates and tutorials on KDE Plasma and other Linux topics. Feel free to leave a comment below if you have any question or want to share your experience with KDE Plasma 6.1.1. See you on the next video.